So if you have a basic understanding of logarithms, well, solving this equation should be very easy for you. Now, if you don't even know what's going on here, let me go ahead and explain what we are looking at. So this is an equation we're trying to solve for x, and what we have here is a logarithm, specifically a natural logarithm, or ln. So we have ln uh, parentheses x plus 3 is equal to 2 times ln 4. All right, now, uh, those of you that have studied logarithms uh, should be able to solve this equation very quickly without the aid of a calculator. So if you can figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, we'll look at the simple steps that are required to solve this equation. Now, if you haven't studied logarithms, don't let this uh, intimidate you because I'm pretty sure you'll be able to understand the solution as well. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now uh, logarithms is a topic. It's uh, kind of um, taught with exponential functions because they are uh, uh, inverse uh, inverse functions of one another. But you study logarithms in courses like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Intermediate Algebra, or maybe like Pre-Calculus or some other uh, math course that's typically a second-year algebra course. So if you are in a first-year algebra course, don't, uh, you know, get frustrated, be like, boy, I don't really understand this. Well, you just haven't learned this yet. Again, uh, this is typically uh, taught at uh, these levels or this uh, level of mathematics. But this is not that difficult. And let's go ahead and get into it right now. So here's our equation. All right, so we have this ln, right? So what is ln? Well, ln, by definition, is, let me just kind of write this right here, uh, log base e. Now, as I indicated, in the beginning of this video, you have to have an understanding of what a logarithm is, right? So if you don't even know what a logarithm is, well, you're going to have a tough time. So let's go ahead and just real, really uh, super fast um, review the basics of a logarithm just for those of you out there that, uh, you know, just maybe like, I don't even know what a logarithm is. Okay, so let's take a power. So something like two to the third uh, power is equal to what? Well, two times two times two, right, is eight. Okay, so two uh, cubed is equal to eight. Well, we pretty much understand that. Now, there's another way we can express this. This is what we call an exponential expression, uh, i.e., we have an exponent up here, okay, uh, three. So uh, we have this base. This is what, well, let's just kind of back up here. Two to the third power, we have two parts in a power. So this part right here is the exponent. This big part down here is the base. Altogether, this is the power, but the answer to this thing is uh, eight. So two to the third power is eight. So we got B, E, and A. You wanna remember these acronyms as, I want you to remember this, log, bacon, and eggs. Log, log bacon, and eggs. Now, some of you uh, might be saying, Oh my goodness, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you lost your mind. You're talking about food, bacon and eggs. Stick to the math. No, I want you to remember bacon and eggs as this is how we remember what a logarithm is. So B-A-E, well, we're talking about these uh, letters right here, B-A-E. So we can express a power like this, two to the third power is equal to eight as log, what is the base here? It is two. So this is log base two. What's the answer? The answer is eight. And what is the exponent here? It is three. Okay, so the whole idea behind logarithms, it's another way that we can write an exponential uh, situation. Okay, you can write um, exponents and powers or power situations where you have a base to an exponent equal to an answer as a logarithm, right? So, and you can write a, a logarithm, of course, as a power. All right, so this is what a logarithm is, and for those of you that never studied this, this is like, you know, the real basic understanding of this topic. Now, this very well just might be enough for you to understand the rest of the solution to this problem. Okay, so now that we know that logarithms have a base to it, this ln right here is log base e. Now, this e here is a constant. It's a number. 
uh, I think it's around 2.7. Uh, uh, I really should know this. This is an extremely important number in mathematics. I think it's about 2.718. Some of you out there probably have that uh, number available. Put that into the comment section. But basically, E is a constant kind of like pi is approximately equal to 3.14. But this is what we call the natural base E. So when we have a logarithm to base E, i.e. this number, uh, we express this as ln. Okay. All right. Now on your calculator, again, uh, you'll see two buttons that have to deal with logarithms, the ln button and the log button. Okay. So ln, again, means log base E. But let's uh, go ahead and just quickly review what just the log button means. Okay. Log is the common logarithm. And uh, typically, uh, you're going to probably use uh, the common logarithm more, uh, much more frequently than you use the natural logarithms. Anytime you see e, like in an exponential equation like e to the x or log base e, you are thinking ln. Okay. All right, so log all by itself, right? We're like, well, hey, where's the base? Well, there's really a base. It's 10. But you're not going to write uh, that base 10. It's just assumed that you know. So this is called the common logarithm. Again, log base 10. And remember, bacon and eggs, right? A base to an exponent is equal to an answer. All right, but you can have all sorts of other bases like log base 2. So this is just log 2. Okay, so over here, like in our simple example, log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. Now, you can't plug this into your calculator because we don't have a log base 2 button. So what do we do there? Well, there's a little uh, formula called the change of base formula where we can simply kind of uh, figure this out. All right, so I'm just kind of doing a quick review. I just can't stand myself sometimes because I don't want anyone out there be like, you know, I'm so confused with this. I never learned this stuff. Well, hopefully uh, this little uh, explanation here gives you enough knowledge you can understand the solution. But even more importantly, if you want to learn this stuff, you absolutely can. So hopefully it inspires you to be like, you know what, I'm actually going to you know, completely learn about logarithms and exponential functions. So I'll give you some suggestions on how you can do that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this problem now. But again, you know, I need to make sure that you have a basic understanding of logarithms. Okay, so here is our equation. So we have ln, which is the same thing as log base e, uh, times or ln of x plus 3, right? So log base c of x plus 3 is equal to 2 times ln 4. And again, ln is the same thing as log base c. So some of you might uh, be thinking, well, do we need to kind of, you know, rewrite this equation like this? Well, the answer is no, okay? So this is not how we approach this equation. But what we do have here is an equation, all right? We have an equation. And uh, this is really, really important for you to keep in mind because we're going to be equating something. But the next step in this problem is to figure out this right here, okay? Uh, this, uh, to kind of um, uh, understand what's going on here, requires what we call a property of logarithms. And there's like five or six uh, specific properties that you need to know. Again, a lot of things that I'm not covering here because you know, when you study logarithms, this is typically a chapter or a full unit in these courses that I'm talking about. But this is not that difficult. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works right now. Okay, so here's our equation. And we're not going to do log base C. I just want you to understand that that's what ln is. But we need to use a property of logarithms to address this part of the equation. All right, so we have 2 times ln 4. Well, there's a property that states the following. If I have, let's say, log uh, 2 to the third power, I can take the exponent right up here, this 3, and I can write it right in front of the log. So this is equal to 3 times log 2. Okay, so anytime you have an exponent, a logarithm of an exponent, or, I'm sorry, a logarithm of a power, uh, you could take the exponent and drop it down in front of the log. Okay, now you can also do the reverse. So I'm like, well, I got 3 log 2. Well, I could put that 3 right back up where it was at, so I can write this as uh, log 2 to the third power. So right here, I have 2 ln 4. Well, this was the exponent to this base 4, so I can put that 2 right back up. And now when I do that, this is really going to make this problem easy. All right, so we have ln 4 squared. So 4 squared is what? Well, if you said 16, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I would be like, wow, you are definitely on the ball today. So uh, 4 squared is indeed 16. All right, so here is our equation at this point. 
Again, if you have a basic understanding of logarithms, you know, you're like, all right, I get this. And if you didn't, you know, at least now you know some basic properties. All right, so let's just take a look at this problem. Even if you didn't know what ln st uh, stands for, uh, of course, it's a log base C, but ln of this is equal to ln of this, okay? We have an equation. So what do you think? Do you think that maybe this thing right here must be equal to this thing? Because we're saying that they are equal. The ln of this thing is equal to the ln of this thing. So, you know, I'm kind of using some, uh, you know, loose language here and not being so precise mathematically speaking. But maybe you might be saying, hey, is this thing the same as this? Because we must be saying that... Uh, and the ln of something is equal to ln 16. Matter of fact, let's suppose we looked at this problem this way. Um, let me kind of erase this here for a second. What the ln of something is equal to the ln of 16, all right? So if I said the ln of what is equal to the ln of 16, well, you might be saying, well, it's gotta be 16 because ln of 16 is equal to the ln of 16. You see, don't let these uh, variable expressions confuse you. Confuse you, excuse you. You have to kind of, you know, use some common sense here and say, oh, wait, ln of x plus 3, well, x plus 3 must be 16 because we are taking the ln of the same thing. They're equal to one another. So this has to be equal to this. And uh, if you saw that, that is fantastic. If you didn't see that, well, you know, this is a, you know, uh, strategy that you want to remember when you are solving equations. Okay, so this is going to be super easy to solve because what we're looking at is x plus 3 is equal to 16 to solve for x. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you just like the way I kind of sneak that in? Well, listen, I need your help. Uh, to continue to build and grow my channel. I'm on a mission to really uh, teach as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics, right? As a math teacher, you know, that's what I like to do. Now, uh, for me, the more students I can help, the better, right? But I can't really continue to grow my channel unless I get people like yourself to be like, all right, I'll help you out. And the easiest way to support what I do is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, uh, let me go ahead and just quickly tell you uh, how you can learn more about logarithms, exponential functions, or this level of mathematics. First of all, if you do want to learn, you know, this level of math, you got to make sure you have completed like an Algebra 1 course or first year Algebra course. I'm going to leave links to all my main full instruction courses uh, in the description of this video. They're, uh, you know, my courses are uh, very, very comprehensive and far beyond uh, what I do on YouTube. Okay, and I think what I do on YouTube is pretty comprehensive. But, you know, if you really want to learn this stuff, you do need full instruction and you need a lot of practice problems with quizzes and um, notes, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what you'll find in my course. But for logarithms, exponential functions, check out my Algebra 2 and or pre-calculus courses. Uh, again, if you're at any one of these levels, you'll know if you're at pre-calculus because this is a very advanced course with trigonometry. But uh, this, is, again, is taught in my Algebra 2 course as well. All right, so uh, these are some courses that you can check out if you want to do some follow-on work. But uh, let's go ahead and finish up this prom because this is super easy now, right? So the ln of this thing uh, is equal to the ln of 16. Well, this must be equal to that, right? So let's go ahead and just equate those two. x plus 3 is equal to 16 and solve for x. So we have x plus 3 is equal to 16. All we have to do is subtract 3 from both sides, and we get x is equal to 13. All right, so obviously, you know, I kind of fully explained a lot of things about logarithms. Uh, you know, if you know what you're doing, you could have done this problem in about 20 seconds. But um, listen, you know, even if this takes you a few minutes, uh, you know, when you first look at a problem like this, that's what, you know, learning math is about or learning a new skill is about. You know, it's going to always take you a lot of time to do problems initially. But as you practice, you know, you're going to get better and you're going to reduce the amount of time, you know, it takes you to solve problems. This is just the natural process of learning anything. So if you're frustrated, you know, you're like, well, I didn't see the solution or, you know, I couldn't figure this out. Listen, you have to be, you know, really completely immersed in this stuff to really kind of, you know, master it. So don't feel bad. Again, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say anyone can do this stuff, but pretty much anyone can. All right. Everyone has a different starting point. So don't give up. Keep up hope. And hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.